looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate video guys and today i'm gonna be going over all the leaked promos in madden 21 guys now yesterday i briefly mentioned them all i did was kind of show the animation real quick say a few words about them guys but still make a full video dedicated to going over them kind of like a what to expect for all of them a general overview of them read over some descriptions that i found online and go over a few other things but uh before we get into today's video if you guys are new to the channel give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already always comment down below subscribe and turn the noti bell after watching the video and if you guys haven't already as well, head on down below to Muck Coin Bank. Check out those prices, guys. If you can't, you can't beat those prices. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 5% off your order if you guys do need coins. But yeah, that's about it. So let's get into the video. So for today's thing, guys, there's a few promos that were leaked the other day by Mutt Leaks. If you guys know what Mutt Leaks is, highly recommend you go follow the account over on Twitter. They post great, great leaks. They're always on, you know, always on point. Sometimes they go dark for a little bit, but then they come back and start posting again. So always cool, especially in the beginning of the year when we're getting into Madden. They always have some cool stuff. They pretty much get us a lot of information, right? So I would recommend you follow them. Type in Mutt Leaks, like Mutt Leaks 21, Mutt Leaks underscore 21, Mutt underscore Leaks 21. I don't remember. Something along those lines. So go check them out over on Twitter. But yeah, so um, all those animations were leaked. Now, guys, yes, in the past, there has been the possibility where if there is a leak, they may not still do the promo, like the combine promo. But I have, I have a pretty good feeling about a few of these guys. I'm super excited and hoping we do actually get these promos. I will go over to the screen in a few seconds to show you guys that. But overall, guys, they're going to be fun. Promos look fun. I'm going to rank them for you guys, go over them as well, kind of give you some oversight on them. So let's head on over to that. As you guys can see here on this article, it does go over the leaked promos a little bit in depth, a little bit, not too much, and kind of go over them. So first, guys, as of yesterday, we had the, or two days ago, we had the Madden Untitled Space promo. This first promo, which has basically been confirmed, is going to be the Space promo. We don't even know what this is going to be, as we've not seen anything like this in Madden Ultimate Team. As you can see on the screen share right here, this is a pretty cool pack animation for this program. It's like some astronaut on the side of the screen as you pull on the card. What could this really be? Let's do a little bit of speculating. Then the only thing we could really come up with this promo is going to be some type of extraterrestrial promo where we get crazy cards that are really crazy at one specific attribute. As you know, spaceships and all that kind of stuff could be associated with uh, ET things. So kind of like weird attributes or Martians and stuff like that. So are we kind of thinking that maybe we get players that have really cool stats? um also maybe with this promo we get some type of new specific ability or x factor with it now i could see the abilities next factors where they create abilities that only these cards can get which would be super cool which could make make you know really change the game make you want to get players from this promo over players maybe you have on your team or maybe having one player like you know having uh one of these martians negates all abilities on the field or something like that like some Yu Gi Oh type crap like that would be pretty cool i mean, i don't know or, or it negates one player on the other side of the field or negates the tacklers I don't know, but th there could be some pretty cool stuff that they could go with this promo. Now, again, will it come? I hope so. This one looks super fun. Looks like one of the most fun ones here just because it's new. We don't know what to expect. Outer space stuff is cool. That's just my take on it. Next, we have the Madden 21 offseason promo, which, yes, guys, will probably be some kind of culmination of the movers and free agency promo together. At least that's what I think. Now, the next promo, they do, uh, which they did also confirm through the leaks on Twitter, is the offseason promo. This is kind of like the movers promo or the free agency promo. There's a few different animations for you to see a tier one, tier two, and tier three animation. Think of these animation animations similarly, similarly to the Ultimate Legends. We got a lower one and a higher one. This uh, this has three of them, so essentially means we'll probably get like three tiers of cards. They're going to be pro players that have potentially gotten a big contract, something like Dak Prescott, uh, you know, like Watt and a few other guys could get a card in this promo. This is honestly a pretty fun one. Again, it's called the offseason program. Not free agency, and it's not like the draft or anything like that. Now, it'll probably be the free agency or the movers or together. Now, I feel like together would make more sense because it's the it's title offseason, which we've never had before. It's typically been movers and free agency. So it could be a, you know, a culmination of the two. Now, again, he says March 17th here, but I, I could be wrong, but I believe it came out on March 18th last year. Not a big deal. One day, but I'm not entirely sure just yet. I mean, March 17th makes the most sense, but EA was, you know, EA dropped it a day late last year. I don't know if it was to make room for some of the day one for agency guys. I don't really know. Point is, or, you know, just because they're late. But that's when it was last year. Now, offseason would be cool. This is a pack animation for it. Next, we have the golden ticket promo. Now, golden tickets. We're going to be getting golden tickets, as you will see on the leaked screenshot right now. I don't see a screenshot. If you don't want, if you don't know what the golden ticket is, essentially the way it works is you can pull golden tickets in packs. And if you get a golden ticket like Willy Wonka, you're going to get an email from EA Sports. And you're going to be able to create a 99 overall version. I'm going to play in the game right now. Essentially, the way that works, there's about 10 to 15 golden tickets, and EA starts to release these golden tickets. A similar way they do with Ultimate Legends. A couple coming out every week after you make your selection. 
uh, super fun promo. We were able to, we, last year we were able to get a golden ticket through free solo challenges. So yeah, in the past years, it's been in packs, like around the Easter promo, typically to like your opening packs, you can just pull a golden ticket card and that's it, you're in. Now, last year they did it as a limited time sol solo. So like it was out for like an hour, you play it and you know, you as the golden tickets fill up, once you get to 15, you see it on like on Twitter, like number 15 has been pulled. It's over. That's it. So hopefully they do it that way again because PAX, you know, PAX was the only way you were going to get out of PAX, you know, people. And that's the other thing, too. It was kind of like a money grab, right? In PAX, you know, big YouTubers. I remember Cullen Burger was spending, like, you know, so many coins slash money on, you know, trying to get these golden tickets. So, like, people could literally go in the hole like $1,000 and have nothing to show for it, right? And at this point in the year, you really don't want to spend that much money on PAX. It's like you don't need the cards as much as you used to need the cards, right? So... I like that it was in a solo. It gave everyone, ever gave everyone an equal and fair chance. You know, at least on the you know on the forefront of it, we all got an equal and fair chance. We were all able to go ahead and get what we needed to get done, and take our chances at getting it right. Now the issue with the other one was I don't even know if that was like you know if there's any legalities with that, but you have a chance of like below zero zero point one percent of getting it, and you know you're supposed to, everyone's gonna spend thousands. So literally everyone can spend thousands. At the end of the day, they're still only getting gonna give out fifteen. It's like set odds, right? So like. I don't know, kind of weird. Next, guys, we have the Blockbuster promo. Another one's going through the Blockbuster promo, which is a big name, pro big name promo, which players are going to get upgrades, just like the just the big Blockbuster names, such as Stefan Gilmore in the game should get a new card in this promo. A lot of cool options. Now, yes, similar to Mud Hero. So, block. So, like I was saying in past videos, Blockbuster, one of my favorite promos. Now, here's the thing: I never got to truly enjoy it. I feel like a kid who missed out on a childhood experience. So. If you guys know, like, there's a um, there's a timeline, right? There, there's a life cycle of an old like ultimate team, my team. You know, people who play any kind of ultimate team mode. You play for a few years, it gets a little repetitive. You take a year off and you come back hard, and you're back on for a few years, right? So, I started in Madden 13. I played Madden 13, Madden 25, Madden 16, Madden 17. Then by that point, I was getting pretty bored, right? Because it was year after year. I was still, you know, I was growing up, obviously in high school, middle school, and then of course, so at that point, I'm like, you know, sports, all this stuff. So I dropped off for a while. Then around Madden 19, Madden 20, more more so Madden 20, I came back pretty hard, right? Madden 19, Madden 20, I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing hard again. So I came back pretty hard. So I missed. I don't know if it was Madden 19 or Madden 8. All I know is the last time that there was a blockbuster promo, I missed it. That's all I know. I missed it, and I'll, I remember seeing it and thinking how cool it was, and I wish I was still playing hard so I could have enjoyed it. So blockbuster promo, guys, it's gonna be like a movie set. Like it's gonna be like, a, like you know the action star, the stunt double, the um the comedy one. You know, it's like. A guy like Saquon Barkley could win action star. There'll be like a big explosion going on behind him. Like, you know, he does crazy stuff. And he'll have like a 99 overall card with like something crazy, right? So that, that's the kind of cool stuff you do see from the Blockbuster promo that I would like to see, uh, you know, from this one. If they do end up releasing it. Now, this guy suspects that it will come out at the end of March. I'm not sure about that. Because think about it. In March, we have the golden tickets that are supposed to come out. We have the off-season promo that's supposed to start. Potentially free agency or movers if that's not all included. As well as we have, uh, let's see, let's see. Easter, which comes out april 4th which i'll get into in a second as well as you know ultimate legends and potentially even more this month it's any surprise stuff we did just get one promo as well so i'm not exactly sold on this one coming out just yet i think this this one in the past has dropped more like in april may and the next guys we have the uh, madden 21 easter promo now the easter promo april 4th as you guys do know which is easter 2021 will be observed in april 4th sunday now easter promo is super cool last year we got barry sanders with the 98 overall couple cool things with this promo typically we get good cards and some sort of easter egg hunt now i do hope they do an easter egg hunt i would not put it beside ea to not do that this year i hope they do and now one quick tip that i did want to add with one quick note i really hope that with the easter egg hunt this year guys they do a golden ticket easter egg hunt so they do a massive easter egg hunt you get you know regular good large extra large and if you get a golden egg you get an additional golden ticket selection so right so if they did 15 total golden tickets and then they put you know three total eggs in the hunt Whoever gets those three, now we have a total of 18 golden tickets. I think that'd be super cool, super fun for in terms of golden tickets. I think that that's definitely a route they should consider, you know, adding. But, I mean, either way, the Easter egg is super fun. As long as they keep that in the game, Easter will be a fun promo. Now, guys, if I had to rank the um, the promos here, right, which one's my favorite and which one's my least favorite? Let's start from the back. Least favorite, off-season promo. Why? Because it's... Could, first off, you're never, you're never guaranteed a good offseason players, right? It could be a few big, a few big defensive tackle names that we're not going to play with or middle linebacker names, right? Second, because isn't, that's not really a promo, right? What it is, it's just it's just a few players from, uh, you know, teams that signed them, traded them, or cut them, right? So, or then they went somewhere else. So, it's just going to give you, you're going to get players, uh, players with names with big overalls, and that's about it. 
There's no real interaction to it. So, you know, we, we might get a high J.J. Watt. We might get a high Dak Prescott. We might get, you know, Von Miller. It really just depends. But it's not going to be the craziest of the promos. There couldn't be some good cards. We won't be crazy. Next, for me, is going to probably be... And this one's tough. I'm going to go with the Easter promo. The Easter promo is definitely fun. It's definitely a good time. But it's been... We've had it for years. It's been generic. And on, on, unless they make sure that we have a great Easter egg hunt... Like, unless there's a great Easter egg hunt, the promo's okay, right? So we, have, so we have to, like, hope for a good Easter egg hunt and something along those lines. Otherwise, it's going to be okay. Next on the list, guys, is probably going to be... Ooh. The Blockbuster promo. Again, Blockbuster promo is going to be super cool. The only issue is that it comes out pretty late. So that's the only issue. Um, Blockbuster in the past, like I said, has been April, May. It comes out at a point when people really are off the grid, and it makes it like... It's kind of like, you know, if you're, if, you're to, if you're to hang out with everyone, everyone's going hard, having a 2K tournament, you're loving it, right? Everyone's loving every moment. You're watching games. You're watching your friends play. You're taking turns. Everyone's playing a 2K tournament, right? After a few games, some people start to get bored. You have six friends. Three of them are on their phone. The fourth one's eating, and then it's just you and the other two guy, the other guy playing, and no one's watching. It's like you don't want to play anymore, right? If, if not everyone's interacting, not everyone's going hard, your energy level kind of matches that. So Blockbuster is a similar feel. Like if it comes out in April, May, it comes out at a point where we may not be able to enjoy it as much, which is why it's going to suck a little bit. But hopefully, it gets a little bit sooner. And for my last, two, I'm gonna go Golden Tickets is my second to last. Now Golden Ticket would be first if it wasn't for the limited availability, right? Think about it. There's 15 gold tickets out of hundreds of thousands of players, developers, so on and so forth across multiple platforms. You know what I mean? Like, again, I think it's per platforms. I guess that doesn't really apply. But point is, there's 15 total hundreds of thousands of people, guys. That percentage is 0. 0.0001, whatever it is, right? So um, the, the thing here is it's not going to be interactive for almost anyone besides the people who get it. Yes, the cards do drop on the block. You can use them. But the fun of them isn't using the cards, right? Uh, I mean, I guess. But the fun of them is pulling them. The excitement of trying to pull them, uh, making them the process. That the, the process is the fun part. I guess I actually do find it fun hearing the golden tickets and everything. But I, I but makes us wish like, oh, you know, some people are like, I didn't get it, whatever. I'm not dealing with this. I never get it, right? So that's the only issue with golden tickets is that pretty much, you know, just like in real life, there's the you know the one the less than one percent rich, and then there's the middle class and lower class, which makes it pretty much the entire country or the entire world. So. Similar to this, you know, not everyone gets to enjoy the Lamborghini in the mansion. That's kind of the problem there. So now my first is going to be the Untitled Space. I like this one because it's it's unknown. We don't know what we're going to get from this. Animation looks awesome. Could be some type of new promo. Space is cool. Hopefully we do. They do do this right. And this is a fun promo. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. Always like and comment, guys. Subs to the channel tremendously. If you guys need coins, heading down to Muck Coin Bank and always use code Poodle for five percent off order. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. I'm out. Peace.